Tom wrote a book, and he wants you all to buy it. Uh, the name of the book is The Jin Chronicles, Volume 1, Growth. It's part one of a trilogy. It's available on Amazon. Go read it. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again. And today we have the privilege of taking a look at uh, the Magic Square B14 and 15 Backbeat and Collide. Their versions of the Stunticons Dead End and Breakdown, respectively. Dead End, Breakdown. So, this won't be a long video, I don't think. Uh, here's the front of the box, top of the box, bottom, sides got some really nice little tech specy stuff here. Other sides got some nice little techy stuff here. And this picture looks like a silhouette of uh, one of the ones I pulled off the internet. I'm going to show it now. Just so you all can see and compare, I think that's what they were going with. So, uh, I already opened it. And, because I was anxious to look at it. So, empty box. What you get in the box is a clamshell with the two figures and a baggie of parts and crap. We get two cards. They're small cards. These are these are small cards. If you're not familiar with their size, they're less than three inches. They're about two and three quarters by about two. And they're fairly decent material cards, feel like. You get a bunch of parts for the combined thing. I can only conclude that this must be the front of the toe, just based around the fact that it kind of joins together. It does have this circle here. I don't know if y'all can see it, how well you can. My thing's a little off there. There we go. It's got a little circle right here and a little connector. And these things will just connect together. I promise you they will. And that kind of looks like the front of a foot to me. Now, I, I could be wrong, but, you know, who knows? We'll figure it out. Eh, a little better than an inch by eh, roughly three quarters. And you get two of those. The other thing you get, I think these are the thigh pieces for combined mode. Just, I don't know. Uh, about inch and three quarters by about three quarters. The other thing are the instructions, and it's just a single front and back page thing. It's got three colors on it, red, gray, and blue, and that appears to be, we've got their little teal thing. Yeah, in the clamshell, you get old dead end and breakdown. They each come with a gun. Let's see. Can they hold their weapon? Yes. It's a tight tolerance, it's a tight fit, but they can indeed hold their weapon. At least that one can. Same thing with Dead End. He can hold his weapon. All right, give me a second, I'll clean all this up and we'll come right back. All right, so looking at these guys, we're gonna take a look at, at Dead End first, or I think they call him Backbeat. So, just uh, move this one out of the frame here. We'll take us a look. So as you can see, he's got, can you see? Come on, there we go. I don't think it took. He's got some paint on his eyes, nice yellow paint. Right there. I want to zoom in on the face. The face sculpt is mm, okay. It's got some definition to it. It's not the greatest face sculpt I've I've ever seen, but you know we do give a little bit for these uh, legend scale figures. Coming on down, we got some paint here. 
on the inside, paint here. This is plastic. Red paint here, I think. It's shiny, so I'm, I'm going to conclude it's paint. His face looks to be painted as well. Plastic, 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 plastic. Uh, we get some paint here, paint here. The rims might be painted. They might just be kind of a silvery aluminum thing. And we get some paint here on the windows. All right. Yeah. He is coming in at approximately three and three quarter inches high by about an inch and three quarters wide. Depth wise, eh, we're looking at about an inch and a quarter approximately. All right. Articulation, the head can go all the way around. It's on a little bit of a hinge, but there's no, there's no uh, confused dog look or anything. All the way around on the shoulder. Shoulder goes up to there, so that's as far as he's going to get with that. Elbows are single jointed. You can see the pin and they come up to right there. In transformation, they're also on a slider joint. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there's a cut right here for the slider and it just pushes right in when it comes time to transform it. So be mindful. It comes in the box uh, pushed together. He's got a waist swivel. And he's got this funky joint here. If I had to guess, I would bet that's going to be how he uh, forms an arm, if I was guessing. The hips are T-jointed ball joints. He can do the full splits, the full Chinese. They're tensioned pretty well, actually. But he can get the full Van Dam, or uh, I'm sorry, the American splits. Van Dam is a... Uh, uh, skull face thing. We got a thigh swivel cut into this joint right here, this mushroom peg. 90 degrees of elbow, I'm mean, sorry, knee bend. And the foot is on this pin right here, so it goes up only that far before it hits something. And it's got a fake rocker right there. And the toe can do its thing. Alright. Okay. And this is basically this guy. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transform one of these uh, from robot mode. I'm going to transform this guy into car mode. I'm going to transform the other guy from card mode into robot mode. So we get both on, on the same uh, avenue since they're both basically the same mold. The differences come in the head and the chest area. All right, so why don't we go ahead and transform him real quick. First thing we need to do is pull this off and be mindful. This is a pull joint. A, a stress joint right here not it's not stressed I'm saying it is a stress joint this little little piece right here I don't know if y'all can see it or not that little piece right there so when you pull on it just be mindful head comes down now these shoulders are actually pretty neat uh, there's a hinge here and a hinge here so bring them square straight and bring them up and bring that down once again pull it out bring it straight Pull it in, bring it down. Collapse your arms in. Take your hood here. And you can see that pin right there, how it's how it's connected. There are two notches right here that are going to go into those right there. Just bring it all down. And if and you do it right, which I may not have. There we go. It'll all just snap in and it will snap into place just like it was made for it. Kind of funny how that works sometimes. Now for the legs. Let's see if I remember the right, this one has to flip around. Pull these out. It's on a recessed and sliding bar. You're going to take this, fold that in, push this back, and this will collapse in. It's on a sliding rail as you can see. This will then come down, and we'll get to that in a minute. Pull this out, take your toe, push it in, rotate this round, pull this down, slide it in, and go ahead and connect them. Push these in. There is a pin. There's a port, and there's the there's the pin, the locking pin right there. 
the locking pin right there. There's a little connector port in here that'll correspond to it. You just gotta kind of wiggle and maneuver until it goes where you want it to. Don't get that way. Go into your home. There you go. If you have it lined up just right, it'll do just what you want it to. And you just bring it up, bring it down, bring it together, give it a good squeeze. And here we have the card mode. Just like this. Now, card mode's coming in at approximately three inches by approximately an inch and a half by eh, roughly three quarters. And just real quick scale wise, here it is with uh, DX9's Weird Wolf thing. Again, just a, a real quick scale comparison. I'm not going too nuts with the scale comparisons, I don't think, right now. Uh, here it is with an Energon Cube. And here it is with the Legion version Transformer Prime Megatron. Okay. So. Give me a minute, let me transform or we'll break down and I'll untransform him. Alright, so transforming breakdown here from vehicle mode into bot mode is pretty simple. We just, uh, first thing we want to do is kind of bend him a little bit at the hips. Go ahead and separate this connection here like this. Slide out the legs them apart, push it down, it might help during transformation to pull this out, pull the foot around, and then pull it down, it makes it a little bit easier, I don't know if it's needed, but it is easier, and there is, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a port right there, and a pin, Kind of gives his, his legs a straightness, but it also pushes everything back to make room for the spoiler, which I think is rather intuitive. Go ahead and pop this back. This will actually force the arms kind of to come down. Pull this back. Pop up the head. Take your part here and bend it at this joint. So this is how you want it, just kind of like that. Sorry, I'm off frame. Bring this back up, bring this down, which at least on this copy is easier said than done. There we go. You get back up there. And the, the pins here just kind of set in where the mushroom pegs are. It's not the securest connection I've ever seen, but it, it is effective. And here is Breakdown, or what do they call him, Collide, in his vehicle uh, robot mode. Same articulation, the only difference is the chest sculpt and the head. Alright, let's do some scale comparison, and we will uh, go into Final Fall. thoughts wise uh, these things are fine playability is only slightly limited because of the articulation uh, for a legends figure these things are articulated fairly well uh, the materials 
they're pretty good. I like how uh, I like how some of the stuff comes together, and it just it works. Uh, this thing works. So yeah, uh, the cost, if memory serves, it was forty dollars a piece for these. Uh, uh, for the set, not not a piece for the set. And I have to tell you, I don't know if I'm just looking at it maybe a little wrong, but forty dollars seems slightly high to me for this. Maybe I'm maybe I'm looking at it wrong. I, I don't know. The cost cost is fine, I guess, for what you're getting. I mean, I'm not complaining. Don't misunderstand me. I, I was actually thinking about doing a video on things we've purchased, and we're like, why exactly did I buy that? This is not that. Uh, this is a decent, decent representation of these characters, and I'm fine with them. Um, even with the money, I, I think it's, I think it's still okay. So if this was my first transformer. How would I feel about these going forward? Um, actually, I, I think I'd be all right with it. Uh, these things, they're fine. They're not the greatest things I've ever had by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but they're also far from the worst. And, and we've all had those that we kind of looked at and said, oh my God, why did I, I spend the money on that? Uh, it, it, it didn't work the way I expected and it's, it's a pain in the patootie now. I got so many damn stickers from Toy Hacks. Uh, in, in, in and of itself, it's not a bad thing, but when you're looking for one in particular, it, it can get problematic. <laughs> Let's see here. Do I have any Decepticon ones on here? No, I'm all out of little bitty Decepticon ones. I'd say that one's, that was, that's probably going to be way too big. Dang on it. Anyway, uh, yeah, if this, if this set was my first Transformer set, would I recommend it? Probably, yeah. Uh, it's it's pretty decent. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy enough with it so that, I mean, I'm putting stickers on it. I mean, I, that may, may not mean anything to anybody except me, but, you know, I, I don't put stickers on stuff I don't intend to keep. No matter what anybody says, I don't do that. So, yeah, I, I suppose that's it. This is Tom. Thanks for watching. Wait, 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 wait. Nemesis, where the hell are you? Ah! Damn it. You had me buried. Uh, well, what are you looking at your chest for? Damn it. Quit it. Quit it. You know I'm holding a knife. Quit it. Buy more of these. They're Decepticons. I don't have to look up to them. Buy more. Is that all you had to say? Yeah, that's it. I think that's the first time he's ever left without me having to fuss at him. You thought I was gone. Ah! <laughs> if you can't have fun, folks, why are we doing this? I don't know. Why are you doing it? Shut up, Nemesis. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I would recommend these. This is Tom. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next review. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you! Are you tired all the time? Do you run out of energon for no apparent reason? Do other robots laugh at you and call you weakling? Do you feel like there should be more to life than what you are experiencing? Then you should try Vitamin John. It is the world famous Energon supplement. No steroids whatsoever. We all use all natural products. Steroid, I mean uh, Vitamin John can turn losers like this one. Hey. Poof into magnificent specimens like these. Hey there.
there, big boy. You want to come over and see me sometime? <laughs> so try vitamin John today. Operators are standing by.